So, I finished a playthrough of Fantasy Star 3 on Twitch recently. You know, the infamous black sheep of the Fantasy Star series. Compared to 1, 2, and 4, this game is the oddball of the classic series, and people have had some not nice things to say about this game over the years. So I sought to find out, was it really that bad? Are these claims justified, or is this mere hyperbole? Believe it or not, this was actually my first exposure to Fantasy Star. So one day at school, I was like 11 or 12 at the time maybe, a classmate shows me a flyer with various Sega Genesis games on it and one of them caught my eye. I saw the screenshot of it and I was like, yo, this looks like Final Fantasy, sorta. I looked down at the title, it said Fantasy Star 3. I was like, hmm, there's two others? Okay. So fast forward to spring break about a year later, I got a Genesis for my birthday that year and I'm at a video store. Yeah, remember those? And I see that game from the flyer again. I was like, oh, hey, this looks familiar. So I rent it and pop it in my Genesis. I was like, yo, this is all right. I didn't get terribly far with it. I remember messing around with the save file that was on there from whoever rented the game before me. I came away from it feeling neutral. That said, it still left an impression on me. I didn't get around to the others until around the tail end of 2000 when PSO was coming out, and number four ended up being the only one that I played from start to finish. So here we are in the year of our lord 2023. What possessed me to play this game, on stream no less, the infamous black sheep of the classic Fantasy Star series, the one that's been so reviled over the years? Well, why not? Let's take a look at some of the main criticisms here. The tone and the setting of the game were very different from its predecessors. The first two games had a distinct anime sci-fi setting, whereas this one had a more medieval fantasy setting. The colors were very sharp and bright, whereas this one opted for softer muted tones. This stemmed from the fact that it wasn't made by the same team as the previous two games. That team was busy with Sonic the Hedgehog. Fantasy Star 1 and 2 did really well, and of course that meant fans were expecting a sequel. That task had to go to someone, and that someone just happened to be members of the Golden Axe team. With the exception of Hiroto Saiki, aka S2, none of these guys worked on any previous Fantasy Star titles, and none of them had worked on an RPG before. Game franchises have personnel changes all the time. Some come back for later entries, others don't. These games didn't get anywhere near as much heat as this one did. I can see how this shift in tone might be jarring for someone who played through the first two from start to finish, but does this make it a bad game? No. Another strike against the game is that it's not set in the Algol star system like the other two. While there is a connection with the other two, that isn't explained until later on. Okay, does this make it a bad game? Well, no. Fantasy Star 3 actually had some really ambitious ideas for its time. The story is told across three generations with branching paths depending on who you choose as your wife, with four possible endings. You start off as Prince Reese, and at the end of his chapter you can choose to marry either Maya or Lena, and then those two will produce a son depending on who you pick at the end of their chapter. He'll go through many of the same places, but with different dialogue and objectives. This was a really cool and innovative idea even by today's standards. It had something that was missing from a lot of games in that era, replay value. The main drawback to this was that you only had two save slots to work with, so unless you kept a save file at the end of Reese's storyline, you were going back through that all over again. Now I'll share with you my journey through the game. I did get my ass kicked a couple times early on, as I was starting to get my bearings, but things got better over time. Navigating through some of the menus was kind of annoying, and the random encounter rate was fairly high. Not the worst I've seen though, but they weren't that difficult and they went by pretty quickly. The pictographs in the battle menu didn't really communicate what they were supposed to do and someone in my chat pointed that out. As I made my way through the game, I failed to find what was really so horrible about it. Apart from what I mentioned earlier, I came away enjoying the experience and I got to share it with some folks who hadn't played the earlier games. It was certainly an ambitious undertaking with ideas that were ahead of their time, and I could appreciate that. So is Fantasy Star 3 really as bad as people make it out to be? And I'm gonna have to say, no. So did you ever play this? If so, what did you think? You know how much I love chopping it up with you guys in the comment section and on the streams. Come on by and hang out sometime, we'd love to have ya. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and remember, to thine own self be true. Until next time.
Farewell.